nice. So today I'm going to show you how to control Logic Studio with your iPhone. That's right, we're going to turn the iPhone into a wireless MIDI controller. Alright, so controlling Logic Studio with your iPhone. Very few set of apps out there that can do it, but the one that I found that works the best has got to be TouchOSC. And TouchOSC is a remote control app that features a pretty nice set of controllers and sliders that work real nice with Logic. So while you download that one, let's hop over to the desktop and grab this program called Osculator. Alright, so go ahead and download the Osculator application for your desktop. And while you do that, let's head over to the TouchOC website, scroll down a bit, and look for the Osculator templates. And make sure you download these. They, they make the, uh, the connection with Logic and TouchOC really nice by assigning the, uh, the controllers to the proper MIDI CCs. Alright, make sure your iPhone and your desktop are on the same Wi-Fi network. Very important. Alright, now in the TouchOC app, your desktop name should show up in the network list. Make sure you pick the layout that matches the oscillator template you want to use. All right, and once you're connected, you can uh, test out the controllers in the TouchOC app and check oscillator for a solid green connection. Now in Logic, you can use the controller assignment window by hitting Command K. When assigning controllers, always make sure to use the, uh, the value setting with an unsigned format and a scaled mode. Very important. All right, and here's a quick tip for assigning the X and Y pads to the Sculpture Morph Pad. So go to the Osculator and uh, verify which MIDI CC is set to the X and Y. Then in Sculpture, go down to the MIDI Controller Assignment area and change the Morph X and Y settings to the Osculator MIDI CCs. All right, now you can control the Morph Pad with your iPhone. And sizzling. All right, so once you have the Touch OC app and the uh, Oscillator app and running, it's really up to you to figure out how you want to set up your layout. Everybody likes to lay out their stuff differently. So, um, but if you've set up your uh, your MIDI keyboard in Logic before, your iPhone and the Touch OC app's no different. It's really the same. But uh, check the show notes for details, of course, on how to do that. Um, so, right, real quick, I'm going to show you a couple examples I got set up right here. All right, so I got a pretty cool setup here. Let me show you real quick. I have uh, got a nice echo here with uh, the wet and the time and the delay. I also got a pretty cool tremolo. I got the auto filter with the cutoff. I also have some instruments here. I got uh, the sculpture, the sound sculpture. It, um, it has a pretty nice morph pad and you can hook it up with the iPhone's morph pad, which makes it real nice and smooth like that. So uh, let me show you real quick uh, what this could uh, sound like. All right, and there you have it, you get the idea. That's how we can remotely control Logic with our iPhones. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Of course, check the show notes for details on how to do this cool stuff. So until next time, I'll see you guys with another tutorial.